This is really fascinating. He was a Spanish painter, a sculptor, a printmaker, a, a ceramicist, so much more. His name is like this long, but we know him as Picasso. And for a limited time, his work is going to be here in uh, Kansas City. For a not limited time, Julian Zugazagotzia, the CEO and director of Nelson Atkins Museum, is here. And we're so lucky to have you in our town. Thank you. Thank uh, you. Before we talk about this, let's yeah. go back a little bit. And we had a story about stress and yeah. about how we live in a stressful time. The Nelson is an oasis. I think you're right. I think, uh, you know, and, and there's so much information coming to us. We have so many inputs from digital media. To every, and the museum is a place just to resource yourself, to just wander. And, you know, the good thing, the museum for access to the collections is free. You can come and just wander. And looking at art that takes you sometimes 5,000 years back or sometimes just a few days with, with contemporary art that we have, it just puts you in a different place, you know, yeah. and, and, and it you don't need to know anything, just come and enjoy and, and experience that connection with humankind, with the best of humankind, and that is what the museum has. And I think that slows us down, makes us also see authentic things, right. and puts us in a very different light. So I think it is an oasis in moments of stress. I highly invite everyone watching us today to, to come and, and, and enjoy and the Nelson. And walk through it, and it is such a great resource, and we're so lucky to have it here. And part of what's going to be happening there now is this, right here, Through the Eyes of Picasso. Oh yes, we're so uh, excited. Tell us about this, this is fascinating. Well, we're very excited. It is, it is the first time that the Nelson and the region has a, a very important retrospective of Picasso, so showing a little bit many of his different phases. And if there was an artist that reinvented himself constantly, it is Picasso. But what this show also is telling is how his connection to art of the world, African art, oceanic art primarily, but also art of the Americas, how this art really inspired him. So by age 14, he was a master. Uh, he himself painted better than Raphael, according to everyone who knew. So for him, the discovery of African art in 1907, and we document, right. even we have from the museum that he saw those first objects, the masterpieces that he saw and inspired, and also the pieces that then he collected and lived. Because those works of art, African works of art, gave him a new vocabulary, a new way of exploring representation. So he was really leaving behind what he knew, and he was a great craftsman. And so he could do classic art very easily. Well, you know, and the interesting <coughs> thing was when you see early Picasso sometimes, and mm -hmm. I'm not well educated about it, but I'll go, well, that's not a Picasso, because in our in our head, mm -hmm. we think of Picasso with the kind of distorted faces and the, the odd angles and all exactly. of that. And you know, if you come to the exhibition, one of the first galleries has, for instance, a mask with two noses. And when you see that mask, you say, oh, that's a Picasso. Well, that's what Picasso saw to become Picasso. <laughs> you know, so that, that is what we want to really, it's, it's, it's a discovery. The best comment or, 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 or that I've heard so far is saying, I thought I knew Picasso, I discovered it fresh. So if you think you know Picasso, come and check it out. You will see a lot of great art and you'll also discover the photographs that David Douglas Duncan took of him at the end of his life. David Douglas, a Kansas City and a great hero that we right. have, world photographer. He's got a great book of his own with so many great uh, prints in there too. Exactly, yeah. and, and he's a great, 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 uh, at 101, still living in the house that Picasso chose for him oh. <laughs> in the south of France. Uh, and he gave us all these prints uh, that document the life of Picasso in such an intimate way. So it's wow. a great discovery. We will learn a lot. And uh, again, you know, just walk through the, even if you don't get a chance to go to the Picasso exhibit, which you need to do, please walk through the uh, entire place. It's beautiful. It'll, this exhibit will run through April 8th of next year, but it goes fast. We always think we're going to go, and then it's almost over. So make sure you get there right away. Tickets are $18 per person. Free if you're a member. Join. Be a member. Support it all the time. Nelson Atkins Museum of Art. Julian promised four and a half hours of talk, and uh, we got four and a half minutes. Well, thank you. Thank you always for having us We'll here. do more sometime. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Michelle.